Good day everyone, I am Cristel Asa Breras, a third year college student of Amanda Coffee College. I am taking a Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English. And I am Dan Braun, also a third year college student of Amanda Coffee College, taking a Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English. We are going to discuss about English grammar, particularly about clauses. Now, there are three different kinds of clauses. They are noun clause, adverb clause, and adjective clause. But we are going to focus on adjective clause. I am going to discuss about adjective clause, but my partner Dad will further explain about the essential and non-essential relative clause. Now, to start the discussion, let us first define what an adjective is. What is an adjective? An adjective simply describes or, or modifies a noun or pronoun. Now, let's use an example of an adjective, the word gorgeous. Let's use gorgeous in a sentence. Christine is gorgeous. It is just an example of how the adju adjective gorgeous describes or modifies the noun Christine. And now, let's proceed. What is a clause? A clause is a group of words containing a subject and a verb or predicate. For example, Dobby jump. Dobby is the subject in the sentence, while jump is the verb or predicate. Let's prove it. What is an adjective clause? An adjective clause is a dependent clause that, like an adjective, it also modifies a noun or pronoun. Adjective clause has three main components. The first one is, it contains a subject and a verb. Now let us all remember that the subject is the thing that we are talking about in a sentence, while a verb is a state of being or an action word. Second, it begins with a relative pronoun and relative adverb. For, for relative pronoun, these are who, whom, whose, which, and that. And for relative adverb, when, where and why. Lastly, it functions as an adjective, answering questions about the noun as which one, what kind, and how many. For example, when we go to the movies, we functions as a subject in the class, when functions as a relative adverb, and go functions as a verb. Another example is, who walked out of the store? Who is the subject in the class, and it also functions as a relative pronoun, and walk functions as a verb. An adjective class has to be a part of an independent class. An independent class is a group of words that can stand alone. Now here is an example. I met the snatcher who walked out of the store. Now can you guess what the independent class is? That's right, it is I met the snatcher. The adjective class is who walked out of the store, which defines or describes the snatcher which I, the subject in the independent class, met. It also answers the question which one. Another example is we killed the beast that swarmed us. The adjective class is that's the the independent class is we killed the beast and the adjective class is that swarmed us. It describes the beast, which is the direct object in the, in the independent class. And that's the end of my topic about adjective class. And now let's proceed to essential and unessential relative class that will be discussed by my partner, Dan. Hello again, I'm Dan Braun. In adjective class, we also have an essential relative class and an essential relative class. Let us first discuss about essential relative class. A central relative clause is one that is needed for the sentence to make sense. And it doesn't need to be punctuated because the information in the, in the clause is already stated in order to understand the meaning of the sentence. The essential clause will tell you which one the writer is referring to. Now here's an example. The boy who left his bag is coming back for it. The relative clause in this sentence is who left his bag. The essential relative plus here modifies or defines the noun in some way, so that we are able to distinguish what that particular boy is, who that particular boy is. 
If you punctuate and remove the clause, the meaning will be changed and it doesn't have sense at all. Like this, the boy is coming back for it. We don't know why that boy is coming back and what is the reason why he's coming back. Now let's move to essential, non-essential relative clause. It is one that is not necessary. Like, like, here's an example. Lisa, who takes Bali with John, is my best friend. The relative clause in the sentence is who takes Bali with John. The clause here in the sentence can be eliminated without, the, without damaging the meaning of the sentence. Like this, Lisa is my best friend. We can still understand the thought of the sentence. That's the end of my discussion, and now let's proceed to exercises. Instructions. Combine the two sentences to make one using an adjective clause. For example, I met Mary in the hall. She is a tour guide. Becomes, I met Mary, who is a tour guide in the hall. Number one, the man was sick. He looked very pale. Another, he was sitting in the emergency room. It was very crowded. Here's the exercises for essential and non-essential. Instructions, identify whether the clause is essential and non-essential. That woman is sitting near the fountain is my mom. Last, Justin, who was reading the newspaper, was interrupted by his younger sister. Feel free to, to write your answers in the comment box below. Thank you for watching our online tutorial and please hit that like and subscribe buttons to get more tutorial videos from us. Thank you!